Hey guys, it's Luke from WMPowerUser.com and today we're going to have a follow-up video um, from our last video that took a look at the Lumia Denim firmware update. This time we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to take a look at rich capture. We're going to take a look at it with the flash off. We're going to take a look at it with the flash on. And then we're going to wrap things up with some before and after photos as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first. The number one comment from the last video that I kept hearing over and over again is why I didn't go into the speed improvements of the camera. So I'm here to tell you, it's very fast. It's as fast as, well, it's as fast as it should have been all along, but we'll take it. As you can see, a quick press of the camera button takes us immediately into the camera, even from a dead sleep, and that's a tremendous improvement over where we were before. But still, even though we've gained parity with a lot of the other flagship devices out there on other operating systems, uh, we still don't really snap onto a scene as well as some of the competition does. That being said, it's not all about startup speed here. The speed of which we can actually snap shots has been improved significantly as well. As you can see here, simply pressing the camera button, you know, three, four, or five times uh, snaps off a picture just as fast as you hit the button, and that is very, very impressive as well. But let's go ahead and talk about Rich Capture for a minute. Basically, what Rich Capture allows us to do is take a selection of photos and change the amount of flash that we apply to a picture or change the amount of HDR effect that we apply to a picture with variance in flash levels and uh, exposures. So basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lights here. That way I can get a nice dark shot so I can show you what you can and can't expect from Rich Capture. It's not going to perform miracles. It's not a magic um, effect or something like that. You do have to have light in order for the HDR to work. But we're going to take a look at the flash here. So what I've done is I have taken just a simple picture um, with HDR uh, rich capture on. You can notice it doesn't really look any better. Now I'm going to take another picture um, with nothing at all applied to it, no rich capture at all. And then I'm going to take a third picture with the flash on. And this is just so we can go back later and edit and adjust that slider that I was talking about before that allows us to decide how much of that flash that we want to apply to our image. And that really does make a huge difference and you'll be able to clearly see that later on. Okay, so now that we've taken our pictures, let's go ahead and have a look at them. This is the one where we had no rich capture at all, just a normal low light picture. Not bad, but nothing particularly special about it. Um, so if we move over, then we'll see our sample shot where we do have rich capture on. So let's go ahead and say edit rich capture and take a look at basically how not to use rich capture. We get our slider over here on the right hand side and since we really had no light uh, coming in from a different direction, this really isn't doing anything for us other than kind of making the picture worse. But if we go ahead and move over to our next picture that we took with the flash, this is where all the magic happens. And this, in my opinion, is one of the cooler things that happened in mobile photography um, within the last several years. So if you select Edit Rich Capture here and then select Customize, you get your slider on the right hand side once again. So if you drop that to the bottom, we've already seen this picture with no flash. But the cool thing is as you gradually raise that slider, you're applying more and more flash to the image until of course you get to the very top and it's completely blown out like flash photography always looks. But this gives you the freedom to find yourself a sweet spot. On this particular image, I feel like around 75% or so was pretty good for me. So if we go back and look at that image compared to the one that we took before, it's all blown out, it's pretty noisy. This one is pretty well balanced in comparison. And if you zoom in, you can see that we get to maintain our sharp edges, the flesh tone looks great, etc. So that is rich capture with flash. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it properly with HDR. 
Now, while these might not be the best examples of HDR scenarios, they're certainly the best I could do on a gloomy Friday afternoon in December. Basically what I'm trying to do here is find a scenario where the object that I want to photograph is completely underexposed. Um, one of these is a graffiti on a building and the other one is a sign to this creepy looking church. Now, if we move back over to our pictures, you can clearly see that before rich capture is applied, um, this, is, this is a pretty poor looking picture, but afterwards, things get brightened up quite a bit. I can see the sky, I can see through the little Nash matting, I can see clearly the colors in the little uh, framing of the building here, and going back and forth between the two, it is very obvious uh, that it's a job well done. This one actually came out better than I expected before Rich Capture because uh, it was really underexposed on my viewfinder on the phone. Um, but again, if you look at the outcome after Rich Capture HDR is applied, uh, it, everything, the bricks, the sky, everything looks so much better in this version. So we're going to finish things up with a couple of uh, before and after shots. Now, again, some of these are taken to show you that rich capture is not always necessary, nor will it always make a difference if the lighting scenario doesn't call for it. So that's all I have for you on this video. If there is still somehow more that you would like to see based off of rich capture or the Lumia denim camera update, let me know and uh, I'll see if I can do one more, but this will more than likely be the last one I do specifically for the camera. Thanks, guys, and uh, let us know in the comments if you need anything else from us.